The new Drake situation is crazy. Wait, what? It's 2024, the year of elections, the Olympics, and more predators being exposed on a monthly basis for the internet to see. Dude, there's been a lot of predators recently. This is actually a new guy on kick. I forgot his name, but he got exposed to being um, the P word. So, like, that's, dude, 2024 has been insane, bro. People have been getting exposed. Trump almost got assassinated. Like, a whole bunch of stuff has been happening. It's been going crazy. This time it's on the family friendly platform that everyone loves, Kick. The other day, YouTuber Something About Chickens dropped part two of To Catch a Kick Predator, where he exposes weirdos on Kick. Pretty yep. self explanatory. I'm not gonna lie, I hope he makes this a serious, man. I'll be glued to the screen every time. In this specific video, he exposes Tomer Lawton, a disgusting streamer who uses elementary pickup lines, no pun intended, to seduce young girls on OME TV and the Bro, why are people so weird, bro? Why are people so weird nowadays? The monkey app. After targeting specific girls, those who are often underage, he then tries to get their Snapchats, convince them to flash him, and do other lewd acts. The what? hour long video reveals how he operates during his live streams where he broadcasts this inappropriate behavior. Did you guys say you have a car? No, you don't have a car, right? Right. That's why you said you're just going to ride me instead. Just put your. What? You're snapping the chat. And take off your top, start figuring yourself. Based off the sound of my voice, what would you rate me? I give you a seven. Hey, I, I. What the heck? Wow, oh, you're so cute. You have a great smile. Really? Listen, yeah. I don't mean to flex or brag or anything like that. What? But I am a six foot three Zara model. If I had you on Snap and send you a pic, yeah. odds of me getting nudes back. It depends. <laughs> Wait, you actually have a kid though, you weren't joking. Yeah, I actually have a kid. Maybe you guys would get along really good. We would, we would, yeah, we'd be homies. I'll take care of you sexually and of him financially. Well, we'll talk about it, yeah? Bro, what is going on? Where? Can I see mommy's titties? Or is that just, is dad being crazy right now? One thing chickens, we'll just call them chickens or sex. What? Yeah, never mind. Sex sounds kind of crazy. Chicken sounds better. But one thing Chickens points out in his video is that Tomer's actions are considered revenge corn, which is illegal in both Miami, Florida, and Toronto, Canada, the places he claims to reside. Bro, I'm surprised this man hasn't got arrested yet. This is crazy. Those bitches was nice. It's, they're all on the Twitter. Guys, if you want to see fat f***ing titties, brunettes, and blondies, then you're going to go follow the Twitter right here, G. Hey, Tomer, act like you've just seen the craziest shit in your life. Look at the Twitter. Holy shit. Oh my what god. The God. I know. Do you think they should all Guys, go follow that? Go follow that? God damn it. God damn it. Oh. Go what? follow right now. All that happened back in 2023. All those posts on that Twitter account has since been deleted. And the girl that Tomer was talking to was over the age of 18. Which, let me make this clear, is revenge porn. Which is illegal in both Miami, Florida and Toronto, Canada. The two places that he publicly states that he lives. These people on Omegle, Monkey App, Omi TV, they all can't consent. Because they don't what? know that they're being screen shared to Tomer and his buddies on Discord and live streamed to hundreds of people on Kit. And it Bro, this is crazy. Like, I didn't know it was this bad. I didn't know it was this bad. Doesn't matter if the person is under or over the age of 18. What I don't understand is how someone can mass produce content like this day in and day out like it's nothing. No bullshit, I will cringe so hard trying to pull off some of the shit I see in his videos, let alone doing it for my young audience's entertainment. I don't know, maybe it's just a normal functioning person to me speaking. Another part that I found absolutely sickening is the fact that Tomer attempts to profit from these interactions by posting the clips on Twitter and offering exclusive content on Patreon. What? For $25 a month, subscribers gain access to uncensored videos of girls exposing themselves. He makes money? Dude, this man needs to be arrested. He needs to be arrested, bro. What? And they're, they're allowing this? Bro, this needs to go, bro. This needs to go to you. He needs to be in, like, I don't know. He needs to, like, they need to arrest him because, like, they should not allow this to be on the internet. This is weird, bro. Why do the, why do people on the internet have to be this weird, bro? Why do people have to go to this level? Like, I don't understand it. I don't know what we have to do in society. They, there needs to be laws for this. I think he's breaking a lot of laws, but there needs to be more laws about protection. If you do this, you should be arrested immediately. What the fuck? The man is even doing giveaways of the Snapchat of a 17 year old girl to anyone who joins his Patreon. Drop a sub right now. I've never people been in a f***ing Discord call with this many bro, people, bro. So many people. Oh. But he would even go as far as to offer this. Also, whoever joined the Patreon, all three of the homies, I'll give you her snap and sh 
Like, I got you. Hit me in the DMs on Patreon. I'll DM you guys. He's Bro. What? Yeah. What? What is going on, bro? Like, 2024? Bro, I just want to walk out. I just want to walk off the screen and just... Just walk away because this is crazy. This is getting this is a lot worse. This is a lot worse than the Mr. B situation. Put in the comment section if you agree. This is a lot worse. Advertising that he's going to give the 17 year old girl's Snapchat to anyone that pays for his Patreon. That's wild. There's no way to know the age of the people who are paying for that. So your master plan to boost sales is by giving away her Snapchat that's foul but tell this and many other predatory situations on the kick website raise concerns about the platform's mind. is he banned on kick i forgot to ask is he banned there's no way he's not banned bruh there's no way that he's not banned like i don't understand it i really don't he needs to be banned bro he needs to be banned like tonight like if i find out that he's not banned bro like i don't know bro that's I don't know if I can watch Kick no more. They cannot allow this on the internet. Moderation policies as a whole, because it seems so easy for other streamers to exploit Kick's lenient rules to push boundaries and engage in similar inappropriate behavior. And this is the part where the biggest hip hop artist in the world, Drake, gets looped into this. Around the 30 minute mark, Chickens brings up how streamers will blatantly lie to the person they're speaking to, saying that they're not being recorded. The example being shown in this part is from a Canadian streamer by the name of Snow, who tries to get other girls to flash her, and it works sometimes after giving them compliments. Oh, hey girl, you are so you pretty. Are so pretty. Oh, I feel like you and I can solidify this friendship and flash each other. What do you think? He's streaming. No, I wouldn't get you to flash. That's rude. Hey girl, you are so pretty. How old are you? Thank you. I'm 18. Oh, you're so pretty. Do you want to flash each other our boobs? Hey girl, you are so pretty. I love me a BB. Guys, if you're on any of these websites, please do not flash. Please do not flash some random person that you don't know. Come on. What are we doing here? Are we five? BBW, let me get a kiss. How big, like, what size are your boobs? 42 double D. I've never seen that. Can I see it visually? You look thick mm -hmm. as hell. Can I see that juicy ass jiggle? No, but why? I don't know. Can I see you doing jumping jacks, but with your shirt off and no bra? You are so pretty. Wow. How old are you? I'm pretty too. I'm 18. You want to zip down your shirt until your boobs flop out? Oh, you're so beautiful. You too. Should we show each what? other? You should just, like, have your thong on. Do you want to flash each other? Should we show, show each other our bra? I feel like we could build a strong friendship if we flash, flash each other. Are you guys friends? Yeah. What am I watching? What am I watching? Uh, I don't know. I might have to walk away. This, this I didn't know this video was this crazy, bro. I didn't know it was this crazy. It's about to give me a headache. Like, this is weird. Yeah, it looks really cute. Have you guys ever tried making out or compared boob sizes? Do you want to flash you each with? other because we both have some fat, juicy boobs? I ain't with that. I ain't like it. That looks really good, though. Can you do that again? You don't even have to show me your nipples. Do you want to flash each other? First. Okay, yeah. first stand up. and. Bro, it's the same thing every single time, bro. She compliments her and then she goes straight to it. She don't even warm them up. She just goes, you want to flash each other? Like, she like, she like, gives them a compliment, like... Maybe it's just the the way the clip looks because like people twist stuff, but like how how is Kick allowing this type of stuff? How is this is why I feel like Kick's not getting any sponsors because they're allowing this. And can I see your outfit? Well, let me see. Just stand. Just stand. And then act surprised when someone actually does it. Your boobs look big. Let me see. I I jinxed you. I said you owe me a flash. So come on. Okay. I guess. All right. You got me. she would do that what caught me off guard was seeing her collaborate with drake to quote unquote surprise people on the monkey app drake what the fuck are you doing my guy wait 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 drake is now doing this what okay first of all what is going on drake what are you doing bro this is blowing my mind, bro. This is blowing my mind that he's actually doing this. What is going on in 2024? He's just like, screw it. I'm going to be one of those. You see what I'm saying? I don't care. She ends up collabing with one of the biggest celebrities to surprise people on the monkey app with. Hi. So for everyone that said that he was, it was a fake person, 
That looks pretty real to me. Can you do this? Oh, you flipped it. Thank you. I need that as a clip, you guys. All right, I have to go get ready, honey. Just okay, I appreciate you. Thank you. Bye. Bro, guess who just came, you guys? Oh my god, we just did a monkey stream with Drake. It turns out that what drake even bought her streaming equipment shot her out rated her stream gifted her subs and the two even follow each other on social media huh yo i'm not gonna lie i'm a drake fan with the music the old drake not the new drake the old songs go crazy you see what i'm saying but him doing this supporting a streamer that does that is crazy i'm not gonna lie it is crazy shut up this is my home girl from toronto right here Ra raid her stream right right, right this okay. is my home girl she is very funny and she's very crazy so raid her stream all right god chat. bless her so after a tweet went viral from a kendrick lamar twitter community people are basically marking this as the 20th installment in the quote-unquote end of drake series is it yep. really the end i don't think so because there's no proof of him engaging in any inappropriate stuff but i'm gonna say this I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. Drake will never like. He's always gonna be famous. His music is way too good. He has the popularity, but I feel like he's gonna look back at this and then he's gonna be like, "Damn, I messed up." You see what I'm saying? Um, hey, if he wants to support a girl, let him support her. That's his decision. We can't really do anything. We can only talk about it. We can only be like, "Hey, you should make a better decision next time." But we can't really do anything. It's Drake. You see what I'm saying? He's not gonna do anything. Like. Is Drake still does Drake still make good music? Yeah. Is Drake still champagne poppy? Yeah. But I don't know. To put me put it like in the comment section if you guys agree. If not, it's all good. I don't know. But it's a crazy look to associate yourself with people like this, especially on an app like Monkey. And I know a lot of you who are very biased are gonna say, She's a woman, or why do you care? Women can be predators too. That's what a lot of y'all don't realize. Many of you who follow rap and hip hop know that Drake in the past and even today has had accusations thrown at him for his inappropriate interactions mm. with girls who were supposedly minors. Most of these accusations are based on him having various friendships with underage girls, being seen in photos with them and stuff like that. But I wanna point out that a majority of these claims have not been proven to be true with the only quote unquote evidence his naysayers have is a clip of him kissing a 17 year old girl on the stage when he was 23 years old. Which that's wild. But I'm going to say this. Until we have evidence, until we have evidence, we actually have text messages or any type of court case, anything that's with the court, you see what I'm saying? Prosecution against Drake. It's not true. We, we, it's proven guilt. It's basically you need, they need to prove that he's guilty and we can, we can, we can accuse him. We can say he's this, you can say is that. But at the same time, we have no proof. So it's just coming out of, we're just talking theories until it's a fact. You see what I'm saying? Until he's convicted. So like, I don't know. So like, I feel like we should go a little easier on Drake. You might be like, yo, you glaze and Drake, you glaze. I'm going to be like this. I'm going to be like this. Come on. Like this, this joke has been running for way too long. We know Kendrick won the beef. Come on. It's, it's GG's. Let's just move on. But at the same time. This is, this is crazy. He he got caught, but he probably didn't know, bro. He was also 23. Like he was he was a lot younger. He probably didn't know. He, the girl probably lied to him. So like we can't we can't always like believe the other person. We got to see both sides of the situation. You see what I'm saying? Just still crazy to me, not going to lie. What? What the heck? What? No way. What? Okay. See, he didn't know. So we can't get mad at him. We can't get mad. He didn't know. He should have asked her age first. That's that's the number one rule. But he didn't know. So we can't really like, yo, he's doing it. He knows her age. Oh my gosh. You see what I'm saying? So can we really get mad at him? No.
he made a mistake. You see what I'm saying? Now, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not trying to glaze him. I'm not trying to defend him. I'm just saying. I'm just. I'm trying to play both sides here. You see what I'm saying? What? What? I just want to thank you. Oh, hey, no. Oh, hey, no. I'm out. I'm out. I personally think that is weird. I don't care about your think pieces on Age of Consent. And no, I am not a Kendrick Lamar fan. And I hope they do a better job of looking into all these sites that adults have interactions with minors. Yeah. Because I'm sure it's not just kick. But let me know what you guys think about this whole situation in the comments. It's Fargo. Yo, not gonna lie. This, this was crazy. I'm not gonna lie. This video, yo. He outdid himself, JB and Fargo. If you guys have not subbed, turn your notifications and like the video. What are you doing? What are you doing? JB and Fargo, you, you killed this video, bro. I'm not going to say you killed it, bro. This was crazy. I'm not going to lie. This, this video was insane. But, guys, but I, I am going to say this. I am going to say this. Do you guys agree with the claims against Drake? Put it in the comment section. Do you guys agree? Do you agree with Kick that they're allowing this to happen? They're allowing these people to do all this stuff. I feel like they're never going to get advertised if this stuff keeps going out. I know the website is is a little against the bound. It's a little above the boundaries on Twitch. You see what I'm saying? So that's why a lot of people go to Kick, but they should not allow this weird stuff for people to do this and for for them to get kick followers i don't think it's safe i really don't you see what i'm saying i feel like it's wrong you see what i'm saying i feel like if kick wants because like i i want kick to succeed i don't think they should allow this i feel like both of those streamers need to be banned you should not you should not be recording people flashing you first of all and number two you should know that that one guy needs to be banned because he's weird doing all mega world stuff saying some weird stuff I don't understand why he not banned. He better be banned by the time this video comes out because it's crazy. And I love Kick. You see what I'm saying? Aiden Ross, amazing content creator. Supports Kick. XQC, amazing content creator. Both goats, right? Train, train wrecks. Amazing content creator. But like they keep like all this stuff, bro. It's just weird. It's just weird. So guys, guys, if you guys have not liked, subscribe, and turn on your notifications, please do that as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.